<laughs> In your racist and discriminatory news for the day, proving that this movement of BLM terrorists and them extorting companies has gone way too far, Oregon County issues face mask order that exempts non-white people. This should be interesting and let's see once the lawsuits go a-flying. Lincoln County, Oregon has exempted non-white people from a new order requiring that face mask coverings be worn in public to prevent racial profiling. Hey, a black man with a mask, you match the description of a black man. Actually, we could flip this on its side too. Now, like I said, first of all, white people, will you step up and file a lawsuit for discrimination? Because this is clearly discrimination based on your skin color. But for individuals who are black, and I think it was mainly black, I think Latinos might have had a higher COVID rate as well, but we usually hear about black in the news. So blacks, I would actually encourage you to file a counter lawsuit to this as well, because say this, get you a lawyer, class action, say this is discriminatory because you get COVID at a higher rate. It's been demonstrated due to secondary health factors that them not requiring you to wear a mask is discriminatory because you're now even more likely than white people to get the virus. See what I'm working with here, guys? Any lawsuit, whatever side a company goes, you can go the other way and flip it on them. So flip it on them, guys. Hopefully the whites of this county file a lawsuit as well. Blacks do the same. Everybody join up together. Bankrupt this county. Health officials announced last week, residents must wear face coverings in public settings where they may come within six feet of another individual who is not from the same household. But people of color do not have to follow the new rule if they have heightened concerns about racial profiling and harassment over wearing masks, officials said. No person shall intimidate or harass people who do not comply, health officials said, unless you're white. Of course, then they can harass you. With mask requirements becoming more common, activists have raised concerns that the directives could put non-white people in danger. For many black people, deciding whether or not to wear a bandana in public, bandana, who's talking about a bandana, to protect themselves and others from contracting CV is a lose-lose situation that can result in life-threatening consequences either way. Renika Moore, director of the AC... Okay, so you got the ACLU involved. Interesting how, in one way, they want you to not be profiled. We're talking about POCs and blacks specifically because we know when they say POC, they mean black people. And we know ACLU... NAACP, when they talk about colored people, they mean black people. So here, they want you to not be profiled, but they're perfectly fine with, as I said before, you all getting the CV at a higher rate than white people and putting yourself at risk, potentially. Now, the choice is yours to wear a mask or not, of course, but again, get that lawsuit going. Trevon Logan, who is black, said orders to wear face coverings are basically telling people to look dangerous given racial stereotypes that are out there. Stereotypes, sure, it can't have anything to do with actual crime statistics though, right, Mr. Logan? This is in the larger context of black men. See, now we're going even smaller now, it's just black men. Fitting the description of a suspect who has a hood on, who has a face covering on. Who said anything about a hood? Who said anything about a face covering? Who said anything about a bandana? We're talking about a mask. An economics professor at Ohio State University told the outlet, it looks like almost every criminal sketch of any garden variety black suspect. Crime statistics are what they are. And this is a problem when you have somebody in a position of power that's teaching other individuals. And we're not talking about political power, but spewing this kind of stupidity and hatred. It only furthers the hatred. But I'm having some fun with this. I love stories like this. This stuff just cracks me up to no end because, like I said, with any story, like I said, they're sitting there trying to say, oh, it's for black people's protection. You can still flip it on its side, right, and come up with the other side of it and say, well, wait, I'm black. I am, say, three times more likely to get it. Why aren't they looking out for my interests? I wonder if those individuals who pass this law in Oregon are white. But if they're white, 
then you could use that to say, hey, they're discriminating against me this way because they want my black earth to go ahead and die or get the CV, whereas they want white people to be protected. See, you've got to have fun with it. That's the cynicism. That's the dose of sarcasm, baby. I love it. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think, everybody. I still wear a mask in public. That's just me, though. A lot of people around where I live don't. I still do. You know, as I've said before, I don't fear it, but I'm going to protect myself and my loved ones as much as possible. So hopefully you all are doing well. Take care.